Welcome back everyone, this is Victor Campos. In our last video I talked about setting up your real device so that you can do some Android app development in contrast to the virtual devices we've been using. So I've um, set up my my uh, LG Venice to be developer options turned on and I've installed the OEM USB driver. So I'm going to plug in the device now and you should see some activity that the device is being recognized. Add. Jump list. Exiting narrator. There it is. It's seeing the device. I can confirm also because my computer shows I've got the device running. Okay. So all of that works because I set up uh, developer options on the device and downloaded the OEM USB driver. To actually run our application, our current application, Campos app, or whatever you call yours, we need a new run configuration, or of course we can change the old one, but I'll make a new one. Select uh, the little black triangle under Run. Select Run Configurations. This will list all the configurations you currently have. Again, ignore mine. I have more than one because I use this for real development. I'm going to create a new one. Let's create a new one. Double click Android application. Get a brand new one. And if you have a real device, why don't you call it the name of your device? That way you'll know. I'm about to run my project on the LG Venice. Which, which project? Select Browse. There's our current project, Campus App target. Let's change that to always prompt to pick device. That way it doesn't go to the wrong device. Apply and run. You should see activity happening down on the corner and then you get a pop-up. And here it should then show if you were running a virtual device it would show. And now that I've got my real device plugged in and running, here it is. LG the LG 730, the Venice, so I can select it. Click OK. And then it's going to load it on my real device. I can confirm that really fast by switching over to my camera here. If that gets in focus, there we go. This is my real device and here's my test project running on it so it works I can go back home I can go to my apps and then I'll see my app somewhere on the list it's alphabetical remember or depending on your device there it is at the end campus app So that's how you set up your project from Eclipse into your real device. So the rest of these videos I will focus on the virtual device just because it's easier to show on the screen. But I would continue to use your real device if you have one.